Hey, Tom Jager here, president and founder of Packetide, the company behind Expression Engine. Um, reason to realize it's been a little bit since we gave the community an update, so I figured I'd just jump on a quick video and uh, share what we've been up to as a whole. So uh, for starters, today is Thursday, the 9th of December, 2021. Um, let's start with Expression Engine version five. We have been um, working on 6.2 and 6.3 a lot. However, we do realize that we're coming to the very end of life of Expression Engine version five. So uh, a year ago when 6 was released, we mentioned that we would give security updates for Expression Engine 5 through the end of 2021. Uh, so we are literally just days away from the very last planned release of Expression Engine version 5. Uh, it is a security update. Uh, we do recommend updating to it. Uh, we really recommend jumping to version 6 though. Uh, the upgrade from version 5 to version 6 is a very simple upgrade. Uh, we spent a lot of time working on that. We even went back through uh, kind of the entire upgrade process and open the door for people to upgrade from uh, Expression Engine 2 directly to 6 as well. So uh, a lot of time, a lot of effort's been put into that. Uh, the core upgrade process is very smooth. So do recommend people do that. In addition to uh, 5, and uh, that being the last planned release, uh, we've been working on 6.2 a lot. So version 6.2, uh, it's been an interesting release. 6.2 is uh, a release that we've been calling the sprinkle release internally. So why do we call it the sprinkle release? We are calling it the sprinkle release because uh, basically we look through uh, a lot of the feature requests that have come into GitHub and we've said, um, hey, a lot of these are good ideas. Uh, a lot of these features, if you will, are just small things that people have reached out and said, hey, if Expression Engine could do X or it could do Y or it did Z in this area, uh, that'd be really cool. So. Uh, we decided to go through and we looked at it and said, hey, you know what? A lot of these are going to fall right in line with where we want to head. And so we picked 30 of them roughly and uh, have those basically knocked out. So 6.2 is the sprinkle release as a whole. Um, in addition to it being the sprinkle release, it is uh, a security release. It's a security release on multiple fronts. So 6.2 does have a good number of low severity uh security items that are being fixed in it. So what is a low severity item? A low severity item uh, on our end is really something that requires you to be logged in, authenticated, if you will, uh, to the control panel as a super admin user to execute. So uh, the way we look at it is if you are a super admin in the system already, uh, you can already completely delete a site if you want. Uh, so vulnerabilities that have to be executed from a super admin perspective uh, are ones that we consider low criticality. However, we also paused and we looked back and we said, okay, where we, we've been from version six to 6.2 in this case, um, there's been a, a large quantity of items that we've addressed. So we are gonna go ahead and toggle uh, 6.2 as a critical security update. It is not a critical security update due to specific high critical bugs. It's really just the sheer number of low critical items that we've closed out. So I uh, wanted to get that update out there to everybody as well. Uh, similarly, on the security vein, in 6.2, we went ahead and uh, implemented a new password strength algorithm. So uh, it's, a, it's an entropy-based system, which basically will take a given password and it will run it through the algorithm and give you an entropy number somewhere between zero and 100. Uh, it's a very common algorithm on the internet. Uh, we felt like it was appropriate to adopt it. Uh, so this is by and large replacing, and I'll, I'll speak to this in more detail in just a minute, the existing strong password requirements inside Expression Engine. So in 6.2, you're gonna find there's four new password options, uh, four different levels, if you will, for lack of a better word. Level one is basically, there is no requirements around passwords whatsoever. Uh, level two is actually the old strong password requirements, like uppercase, lowercase, can be combined with a number of characters, that type of thing. Uh, level three and level four correlate to specific entropy scores uh, in the algorithm that I just mentioned. So uh, what does the entropy algorithm look at? The entr entropy algorithm takes a given password and it assesses it and it looks at things like, you know, are there reoccurring characters? Are there uh, commonly used words? Are there uppercase letters, lowercase letters, special characters? What's the length of it? Things like that. And it basically weights a given password uh, based on the algorithm and then gives it the score. So, you know, level three, I, I don't know the exact uh, numbers, but you know, for password, or if you set the password security level three, it means that the password gets run through the entropy algorithm and returns a certain number, number X. And then at level four, it's a higher number, number Y comes through. So uh, that's part of what's coming in 6.2. In addition to that, uh, Pro 1.1 uh, will be shipping with 6.2. So uh, while there's five or six new additions to Pro in 1.1, 1 
The big one is really the multi-factor authentication. So uh, coming out of the gate, kind of in the same uh, vein, if you will, with 6.2 having the security element to it, uh, we are rolling out multi-factor authentication as part of Pro. Uh, so beyond that, we've been very hard at work on 6.3. Uh, 6.3 is gonna be a field-centric release. We're excited for that. We'll share more about that in another video. Um, and then Pro 1.2 is in uh, development as well. So beyond that, we are at the early onset of 6.3. Uh, or I'm sorry, 6.4 development as well. Uh, really more so in the planning stage, if you will. Uh, 6.3, if all goes well, will be pretty close on the heels of the 6.2 release. We are aiming and on track to have 6.2 out before the end of 2021 as well. Um, I think that's about it for this update. If you liked getting this update, we'd love to hear that. Uh, you know, you could just give us a shout on Twitter, let us know in Slack, uh, like the video, something along those lines. And uh, if something wants to continue, we, we'd love to hear that. So thanks.